Welcome to NM Serena. In this video, we are going to discuss the arithmetic progression. Now, first of all, let us understand what is an arithmetic progression. A series is said to be in arithmetic progression if each and every term of that series is obtained by adding a constant number to its just preceding term. So, this constant number is called the common difference denoted by the letter D. Let us see an example. This is a series in arithmetic progression. See, 4 is the first term and 2 is added to 4 to get 6. Again, 2 is added to 6 to get 8. Again, 2 is added to 8 to get 10. Once again, 2 is added to 10 to get 12. Like that the series is going. So the difference between all the terms in this series is 2. That is the constant number or the common difference denoted by D. So if this constant number is the difference between each term in the series, such a series is said to be in arithmetic progression. And we can find the constant number D if we get a series by using this formula, second term minus first term. Second term minus first term. We can subtract the first term from the second term to get the D. Or even if we subtract the uh, second term from the third term, we get the same D. That is how we find out D or the common difference from a series. And we can find out whether that series is in arithmetic progression or not. Next, let us discuss the types of arithmetic progression. They are classified into two as increasing arithmetic progression and decreasing arithmetic progression. First, let us see what is an increasing AP. These numbers are in increasing arithmetic progression because it is in ascending order. They are in increasing order. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 30 like that. So here the constant number or the common difference is 3. And the decreasing AP, the example is 10, 8, 6, 4. Like that the terms goes. That is they are in descending order. 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. So in this case the constant number or the common difference is minus 2. So if the common difference is positive, that will be increasing arithmetic progression. And if the common difference is negative, that will be in a decreasing order. So, it is a decreasing arithmetic progression. Now, let us see how to find out whether a given series is in arithmetic progression or not. The first series, 2, 4, 8, 16 and dash. Now, in this case, the difference between the first two terms, second term minus first term is 2, 4 minus 2 is 2, but 8 minus 4 is not 2, it is 4, and 16 minus 8 is 8. So, there is no common difference between these terms, or the difference between these terms is not the same. That is why this series is not in arithmetic progression. Now, let us consider the second series. The difference between 0.2 and 0.22 is not the same as this. the difference between these two. So, this series is also not an arithmetic progression. Now, the next one, 3, 6, 9, 12. Difference between 3 and 6 is the same as the difference between 6 and 9. It is same as the difference between 9 and 12. Here, the common difference is 3. 3 is the difference between first two numbers. 3 is the difference between second, two, second one and the third one. And 3 is the difference between third one and the fourth one. Hence, this series is in arithmetic progression. Now, let us study how to find the nth term of an AP. Nth term means it may be the third term or the fourth term or the 15th term or the 20th term 
or it can be the hundredth term of an arithmetic progression. It is not easy to find these terms by mere inspection or observation. So we have to use a formula for that purpose. And that formula is given here as Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Tn means nth term. A means the first term of the series. N is the num number of the terms. That is, when we are going to find T9, here the N will be 9. If we are going to find the 100th term, this N will be 100 and this N will also be 100. That is the nth term. Then D is the common difference. Now let us take an example. We have to find the 20th term of the series 258 dash. Let us try applying the given formula. T20 is equal to 2 plus that is a A. A is 2. So 2 plus n minus 1. 20th term we have to find. So T20 and here also 20 minus 1 into common difference between these numbers is 3. So into 3. And then the next step is T20 is equal to 2 plus 20 minus 1 is 19. So 19 into 3. Thus we get the answer as 59. So 20th term of this series is 59. By seeing only the first three terms, we can find out 20th term or 50th term or the 100th term of a series using this formula. In this case, the 20th term of this series is 59. Now, let us try to solve the problem to find the nth term of an arithmetic progression. Let us consider a question. Which term of the series 93 plus 90 plus 87 plus dash is 0? So 0 is a term in this series. We have to find which is that term. So let us see what all things are given for us in applying in the equation. A is given. 93. The first term is 93. D we can calculate as second term minus first term. 90 minus 93 is minus 3. And then Tn. Nth term is 0. We have to find this N. N is to be found out. Let us apply the formula to find the nth term. Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. 0. Tn is 0. A is 93. N we do not know. And D is minus 3. So, 3 into N minus 1 is equal to 93. We are taking this part to the left hand side. 3 into N minus 1 is equal to 93. So, 3N minus 3 is equal to 93. This 3 we can take to right side. 3n is equal to 93 plus 3. When minus 3 is taken to the right hand side, it becomes plus 3. So, 93 plus 3 is equal to 3n. The next step is 3n is equal to 96. 93 plus 3 is 96. Then, n is equal to 96 divided by 3. And the answer is 32. So, 32nd term of the series is 0. When this series is proceeding like this, this is the first term, second term, third term, like that it is going. When it reaches 32nd term, that value will be 0. So the n is 32 and the nth term or the 32nd term is 0. Next, we can study how to find the sum of n terms of an AP. There is a formula for this purpose. The formula is Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. n is the number of terms that we have to find. If we want to find the sum of first 10 terms of an 
arithmetic progression then this n will be 10 this n will also be 10 a is the first term and n is 10 d will be the common difference or the constant number let us take an example to make it more clear we have to find the sum of 20 terms of the series 3 5 7 9 etc so we can use this formula for this purpose we have to do 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 like that up to 20 terms. So in this series the other numbers are not given but still since this series is in arithmetic progression then we can find the sum using this formula. Here the series is in arithmetic progression because 5 minus 3 is same as 7 minus 5 and 9 minus 7. So, if a series is in arithmetic progression, then only we can use this formula. By applying these values in the formula, Sn, that is 20 terms we have to find. So, S20 is equal to n by 2, that is 20 by 2, 2 into a, first term, 2 into 3 plus 20 minus 1 into the common difference between these numbers is 2. So, into 2. That is 20 divided by 2 is 10. 2 into 3 is 6, 20 minus 1 is 19 and into 2. That is 10 into 6 plus 38. 19 minus 19 into 2 is 38. The answer is 10 into 44 which is 440. So if we add the first 20 terms of this series we get the sum as 440 that is obtained by using this formula this formula is applicable only in the case of an arithmetic progression that is a must for the application of this formula another formula is also available for pointing the sum of n terms of an ap if the first term and the last term is known. The formula is Sn is equal to n by 2 into first term plus last term. So this is a simple formula that can be used. More simple than the other formula. But the only requirement is that first term and the last term of the series must be given. Only then we can apply this formula to find sum of n terms of a series that is in arithmetic progression. So that's all about finding the nth term of an arithmetic progression and finding the sum of n terms of a series in arithmetic progression. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe the channel.